Hello! The law of cosines is used in trigonometry to solve triangles. It's usually applied on oblique triangles, however, it can be used on any triangles. This law relates the sides of a triangle to its angles. In this figure, we have a triangle with sides represented by lowercase letters a, b, and c. Opposite of side A is angle A, opposite of side B, angle B, and opposite of side C, angle C. So each angle is represented by uppercase letters. Then for the law of cosines, we have three formulas, and it all depends what side squared we want to see on one side. So the first one is A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine of angle A. The second one is B squared equals A squared plus C squared minus 2AC cosine of angle B. And the third one is C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. So in any of these formulas, we can say that the square of any side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides minus twice the product of these two sides multiplied by cosine of their included angle. In this video, we will take one of these formulas, for example the first one, and we will prove it using the distance formula. So we will show that if we have sides B and C and angle A, then this expression equals A squared. Now here is the distance formula, and it tells us that if we have two points with the coordinates x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2, then we can find the distance between these two points using the formula square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So to use this formula, we need to place this triangle in the rectangular coordinate system with point A at the origin. So now here we have the x-axis and the y-axis. Then we will use the distance formula to find side A, but for this we need the coordinates for point B and point C. To find the coordinates for point B is easy because the x-coordinate is C and the y-coordinate is 0. But to find the coordinates for point C, we need to find how far to the right we have to move and then how far up. Therefore, from point C, we will draw a perpendicular down to the x-axis. So then, to find the coordinates of point C, we would have to move x units to the right and then y units up. Therefore, using this right triangle, we will write x and y in terms of the hypotenuse B and angle A. Using the cosine function, we will write that cosine of angle A equals the adjacent side x divided by hypotenuse b. So again, I will write that cosine of angle a equals x over b. Then from here x equals b cosine of angle a. Now using the sine function, we will write that sine of angle a equals the opposite side y divided by hypotenuse b. So sine of angle A equals y over b. Then y equals b sine of angle A. And now these are the coordinates of point C. So now we have two points and point B has the coordinates C and 0 and C has the coordinates b cosine of angle A and b sine of angle a. Then according to the formula above, let the first one be x sub 1, y sub 1, and the other one x sub 2 and y sub 2. Then we can write that the length a, which is the distance between these two points, is the square root of b cosine of angle a minus c all squared plus b sine of angle a minus 0 all squared. In the next step, we will take this equation and we will raise both sides 
to the second power. Then on the left side we will have a squared and on the right side the square root will cancel and we will have b cosine of angle a minus c all squared plus b sine of angle a and if we ignore the zero then all this will be squared. Now to raise this expression to the second power we will use the following formula. a minus b squared equals a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So first on the left side we will bring down a squared then on the right side b cosine of a squared is b squared times cosine squared of a minus and now we need the double product of a and b that is the double product of b cosine of a and c and that will be minus 2 bc cosine of angle a plus c squared and for the second parenthesis we will have b squared sine squared of a next we will group together the first term and the last term and we will factor out b squared so we will write that a squared equals and now if we factor out b squared then inside the parenthesis we will have cosine squared of a plus sine squared of a and now we will bring down minus 2 bc cosine of angle a plus c squared and now inside this parenthesis we will apply a Pythagorean identity and that is sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta equals 1. So according to this identity the expression inside the parenthesis is 1. Then now on the left side we have a squared equals b squared and now let's move this c squared after b squared so we will have plus c squared minus 2 bc cosine of angle a and we just proved that a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2 bc cosine of angle a if you found this video useful please click the like button and subscribe to the channel thank you for watching